This is Heidi Caswell, WordPress 101 for Boomers. We've been talking about RSS feeds and what is an RSS feed. And I was going to show you real quick um, how this RSS feed will work on different browsers. Here I am with Internet Explorer. And you can see this Internet Explorer is kind of like a beginner uh, browser. It's what comes preloaded on most people's computers when they come in. Uh, and it's one that a lot of the people on it aren't as techy and don't know as much, so there's more instructions and things. And you have here where you can click and you can learn more about feeds. And then a pop-up will pop up that gives you some Windows help and you can go in, okay. Um, these are just things that people will know. The description costs money and usually, in most all cases, it does not. And unlike magazine subscriptions, newspaper descriptions, descriptions. Subscriptions, I'm sorry. But anyway, um, getting some time there. But you can see it's got, um, you can see it by title or author, the categories that they're coming in at. But what it does is you can see just the headlines and a few words. Um, the Explorer one, the, actually the images, the first images coming up too. The videos aren't showing up on there, so any of these that have video, all the links are showing up in here. So you've got some information that's showing up here. And that's a quick way to scroll through and uh, read someone's site to see what's on there. Okay, now I'm over at Firefox. Firefox is one of my favorite browsers. Uh, it's got a lot of cool things that in it's uh, less apt to have viruses and things come into it than you have with the Explorer. Uh, it actually has a way where you can actually subscribe to your feed through uh, Google Feed Reader. Um, blog lines, Yahoo, however you like to subscribe, they give you a few choices there. Or you can just say, always use Google, subscribe from free, then you, then you go subscribe now. And that's why it's one way that people could subscribe to a site. And as you can see, it doesn't have pictures there. While we're in here with the subscribe to feed through Google Reader, you can see they give you different examples. You can have it show up on your home page. And then you can see it right through. You can see uh, it'll show up somewhere on here. Or it can show up over here on um, just the Google Reader. And you can have that here. You can make it easy to keep up with. The, if you've got a lot of sites that you keep up with, then you just can scan through a list with them all in one spot. And that's what the, reader, the feed readers are good for. I'm going to go ahead and click on Add to Google Reader. As you can see in here, it also shows people a know that may be on Google Reader, and I can see what it is that they're sharing publicly, if they want to share them publicly. But I can mark as red, and it won't show up again if I want. I can add several blog sites in here at one time, and it's really not a bad way to keep up, to keep up with different blogs. Once I've added it to the uh, Google feed and I'm in Firefox, I can't go back and see the feed the other way. I can only see it one of these ways. It just go automatically takes me to uh, one of those ways to read it. Okay, I'm in Chrome now. And you can't really read it too well the way it is. It's just got all the code mixed in with the words and it's all showing up there together. And it says at the top, this XML file does not appear to have any style information associated with it. And there's not. Um, Internet Explorer and Firefox both added the style. Now, on your um, inside WordPress, there's a lot of plugins that are there. And some of the plugins will change how a uh, how the feed shows up and what people are seeing. And we're not going to get into all that right now. And usually, uh, people's going to read a feed either through a feed reader, like the Google feed reader, or through um, email. And like for me, I keep meaning to sign up and use a feed reader. And I've not really done that. I've been in the habit of checking my email. I noticed that the uh, site that I subscribe to by email, I watched and opened up and listened to those and read those much more than those that I had just the uh, a subscription in the reader because it wasn't in my habit to go read the the, uh, uh, the feed in the feed reader. So it's just up to you what works for you, what's your best way to get content, but a great way to keep up with a lot of information is to uh, have subscribed to these feeds and just kind of skim through them and click on the ones that are interesting to you. Anyway, Heidi Caswell uh, WordPress for Boomers. Have a great day.